Hey, what's up YouTube? I hope everybody's having a great day. In today's video, we're gonna cover asset management. What is asset management when it comes to managing your rental? Just wanted to share something I started doing. Kinda wish I was doing this from the beginning. I wanted to get this out there. If you're getting started in real estate, pay attention to these tricks. This might save you a lot of headaches. So let's jump right into it. So what is asset management? Well, basically it's keeping track of things that you own and having good documentation of it. I'll tell you from my experience, as time went by and I was acquiring rentals, you realize quickly how fast you forget things or how poor your memory actually is. For example, I'll tell you something as simple as remembering the age of the roof. And why do you want to remember these things? Well, there are multiple reasons to, to have this recorded and one of which is when you get a quote from the insurance company, they're gonna ask you that information. They're gonna ask about the age of the roof, the age of the kitchen, the bathroom, the type of flooring that you have. They're gonna ask you if there's air conditioning. They're gonna ask you if there's a shed on the property, if there's a garage. All these different questions are in regards to the asset that you own that you're trying to insure. And when you're just starting out, let's say you buy your first rental, it's gonna be your baby. You know? You're gonna know all the ins and outs of it. So if anybody asks you any question, you'll be able to spit out that answer. But as time goes by and you continue to invest into other rental properties, you realize how quickly you start to forget. And this is exactly what started to happen to me is I'm starting to forget the age of the air conditioning unit or the age of the furnace. All these type of things that I need to have record of so that way not only can I provide that information to the insurance company but also if the bank is asking that information. If I'm looking to refinance or pull equity out of my property I need to have answers to a lot of those questions. And then the third reason is simply for your own tracking. If you don't know the age of your hot water tank. That means you could be in danger of it going bad one day. You now have an emergency. So if you have a 25 year old tank there, all of a sudden on Christmas Eve, it starts to leak. Well, you kind of caused that yourself because you never did preventative maintenance. You never actually replaced the unit, you know, at the age of let's say 15 years old. So one of the reasons I started to collect all this information is for me to, to plan out where I need to invest money. So I wanna see what all of my rentals have right now. What are the ages of the different things? And that way I can say, okay, so 10 years from now, this, let's say unit number five, it will need a new roof because it will come on its 30 year mark. So I wanna budget accordingly for those things. And the other reason is, well, my plan is actually to get everything latest and greatest. So that way, by the time these places stabilize, and let's say they're paid off, that way I'm not worried about reinvesting all this money. During the time of acquisition, and as I was paying these properties off, I kept reinvesting my money so that they will be in good condition. If I plan to sell this property, or if I plan to, let's say, pull equity out of it, well, it's already been updated. I've already invested money into it. So one of the reasons I wanted to make this video is, is to share this very basic spreadsheet that I've created. What I'm doing now is actually, anytime I'm doing, let's say, quarterly inspection, showing up at the property, and I'm checking, make sure there's no water leaks, things like that, make sure property's in good shape. I'm actively looking through this list to see if I have any missing information about these properties. And what my goal is this year is to get this database created about my properties and that way I can kind of plan out and see how much money do I need in the next 15 years to invest in these places in order that they are in their best condition, that they have new roofs and that they have 
you know, updated kitchens, they have updated furnaces, good uh, brand new water tanks, all these different things that wear out over time and need to be upgraded. Okay, so this is the, sp the spreadsheet that I have here. And this is just a blank spreadsheet. If anybody wants a copy of this, or you can just recreate it in Excel, pretty easy to do. But basically in the first column here, I just have the properties. And what I normally do for myself is I put the property address in there. And then as we move to the right, you can see I have a column for the roof age, moving down the furnace age, the air conditioning age, the hot water tank age, the age of the windows, when was the kitchen updated, the floors, the bathrooms, the siding. And then here I have the breaker box amperage. So here I record if the breaker box is, let's say 100 amp, 200, or maybe it's an old panel, like let's say it's a 75 amp and it needs upgraded. I'll record that there. Plumbing age, this would be the age of your pipes in the house, the wiring, and then we're getting into different types of appliances. Age of the fridge, the stove, if there's a dishwasher, uh, what age it is, and then we have microwave, washing machine, a dryer, and also I included a very useful column here, which is the filter size. So I replaced the filters on a furnace myself. I used to ask the tenants to replace them, but what I've learned is they never do. It's actually put a big toll on the furnace and a furnace could be worth several thousand dollars. So I'd rather spend that 10 bucks on a filter and show up once every six months while I'm checking on the place and just pop one in there. And I know that there's a brand new clean filter in there. But what I've learned is when I'm showing up to these inspections, then I have to take a separate trip to the store because I never know what filter size it is. But now by having this database, I'm able to swing by Walmart or Lowe's or whatever, buy a filter ahead of time. So that way when I'm there doing the inspection, put a brand new one in. And I typically just buy like two, that way I'll always have their a spare just in case. So just a quick little system that I've created to build on top of that. Once I figure out what things are gonna need to be updated, I'm starting to get some quotes from different companies and that way I know that at some point in the next five years or so I'm gonna have to spend that money I'm forecasting my capital expenses instead of it being a surprise thing oh my roof went bad well I'm forecasting I see that let's say a roof was put on in 2000 and now is 2022 I know that a new roof will be required within the next eight years because typically a roof is only good for 30 years so I'm proactively forecasting my expenses and that way nothing is a surprise. That's kind of the plan behind this thing. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you smash the like button. If you have any questions, if you think that something's missing on this uh, sheet, please put it in the comments below. I'll be making more content here in the future. We'll see you soon. Thanks guys.